Okay, let's move on to this question. So for what value of C will make the expression a perfect square trinomial? Okay, so if you remember, anytime you have a perfect square um, trinomial, this is basically, you need to complete the square. So all you have to do is you take negative 7, right? You take the B of your standard form of your equation, because this is AX squared minus BX plus C. So all you do is you take negative 7 divided by 2 and you square that, right? So essentially, we're looking at negative 7. So negative 7 divided by 2 and you square. So you square that term. So negative 7 divided by, divided by 2, right? So this is just when you're completing the square. You take your b value, which is negative 7. You divide that with 2 because that's part of the formula. And then you square that. So in that case, you, ne you know that your c needs to be 49 over 4. So this is your c. And just so you know, if you're interested to know what a perfect square trinomial is, basically, let's say you have this, right? So in that case, if you have x squared minus 7x plus c, you can actually express this in the form of a minus b, and then this is squared, right? So when you are able to turn this into a trinomial, which is x squared ax squared plus bx or minus bx in this case plus c that's your trinomial and it's a perfect square because it's twice of that right twice of sorry not twice but it's multiplied to itself right and it's a minus b times a minus b so that's why it's a perfect square okay great so let's see what they wrote um yeah so they've actually shown you how to complete the square so they're taking neg negative seven um divided by two squared and because you're adding a new term that's why you're subtracting that with the same term seven over two squared and then they're saying that c is equal to 49 over four which is exactly what we did I think I appreciate, so this time I appreciate that I that they actually showed you how to complete the square, but to answer this question, that's not even necessary, but I just appreciate that it doesn't um, allow you to kind of guess what's going on, right? As opposed to saying, okay, C is equal to 49 over 2, so they actually showed you the step on how to complete the square, and then they tell you, okay, so this is just what you do. You divide your B expression with 2, and then you square that. That's why it's C. So... Nothing to say except um, it's perfect. So perfect solution and answer.